The separation of science and religion is a myth. Science is simply the revelation to man of God's creation. In this series, Asking Creation, I look at the revelation of the universe and its order from the beginning to the end of time. Seeing that fate and reason are like the shoes on your feet, you can get farther with the two than just the one. Greetings everyone and thank you for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. I hope this finds you well wherever you are. This video is really a bit of a thought experiment and I hope these videos on my channel can might stimulate debate whether you're a theist like me or an atheist. We can at least agree on the observations even if we disagree on the higher causes. To put it another way, we can describe the operating system without having to argue over the programmer, whether you think like me that it is God, or you believe it's a naturally occurring universe. This video, entitled Inflation, the Electromagnetic Universe, is kind of a is this how it works sort of thing, as really I don't know myself, and I'd be interested if you actually know to post in the comments below. My theory is that the universe, the cause of inflation, is the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental, I believe, forces, electromagnetism, gravity, and the strong and weak nuclear force. I might be looking into these other forces in other videos, but this one in particular is the electromagnetic force. I'm. My theory is that, well, the pull, that like a magnet, a magnetic force, that the electromagnetic force has poles with the south pole in the interior to our universe and the north pole in the exterior. Now this seems to work in a, whether it's a universe or a multiverse. And in the multiverse, it might make more sense. Um, my theory is that because all the poles on the inside are, let's say, south pole, they will repel each other, pushing the universe apart. And in the space created, there's just cause for inflation. Maybe another pole may appear and, like an onion, keep pushing itself out. They may be in layers or in new universes. Or would that be universe? I am not sure. The, if the South Pole is in the interior, and for instance, if we live in a multiverse of similar description, the North Pole on the outside would also repel other universes, meaning we won't crash into them. That they'll repel each other. Now, why it may not be a physical manifestation is, I believe science thinks that there's 11 dimensions. And it could be that the pole itself sits in a fourth spatial dimension, meaning that it won't interact on the three-dimensional space we have, but its effects can still be seen. It's just a theory, and I'm wondering to know, am I on the right track with this? You see, as a Catholic, this does not contradict my faith because at every every mass a Catholic will say I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible meaning God created the universe and it doesn't matter whether it's an infinite universe of infinite size or a tiny universe no bigger than the earth and what we observe is just a mirage. Either would be okay in the to fit with my belief system. However, I believe that the universe is as observed and described by science. A 14 billion year old roughly universe that is roughly the visible universe is roughly again about 14 
billion years across, with the physical universe possibly being another, I believe it's 48 billion light years further. Doesn't really matter, even if it's infinite. It still fits within my belief. As Sorry, I digressed there for a while. But going back to the electromagnetic universe idea, would that would that work? Would that or could that be the cause of cosmic inflation? Or have I got the electromagnetism completely wrong? I'd be interested to know what you think, and please comment below if you know. And link to either videos or papers that I might read. And maybe start with the pop-up book version, because I'm not scientifically literate. I do, however, hope that over the course of the coming months and years, I'll become more scientifically literate and may be able to talk with greater authority on the observations. Many of what, much of what I'll discuss in these videos will be theory crafting myself and wanting to find out. So please uh, feel free to comment. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will return to this at a later date when I get more information myself and make a more in-depth video. And maybe once I get on to live streaming, I may, if someone comments below and has more knowledge than I do, maybe we can have on my live stream and you can explain to the audience what you know. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and check out my new videos coming soon. God bless.